Your marketing sucks if you don't get this right. Let me help you understand how the human brain works so that your communication in any medium or shape or form that you are emitting is actually well received because what you're thinking of getting through might not really be received the way that you'd like. And once again, your marketing, the way you communicate, all depends on you getting this thing right. Let me just pull in a little visual here. I mean, the visuals help. This is my personal visual representation of the human brain, all right? It's a bit gimmicky, I get it. But let's just get the point. We've got, let's say, one thing which is called here, which is the most primitive part of our brain. In long ancient times, what happened is we developed this thing called crocodile brain or a hind brain. And the hind brain is all about a very basic preservation of the organism. So in a way, you could say, in the outside world, you and I largely detect whether there's threats or not, whether our survival is guaranteed or not, whether things can be pretty much dismissed because it doesn't impose a threat, or whether we actually need to fight, flight, or freeze. That pretty much is that sort of device here. Now, it means that your messages are first being scrutinized by the first center in our brain. And so, whether your message comes across as something that is safe and doesn't impose a threat to the survival and is also different enough, intriguing enough, only then your message is going to go up the elevator in the brain to the midbrain called also the limbic system. And so the limbic system is where you're, you're pretty much using a more advanced center of the brain to have your message go through first, which means how are people then assessing that message from an emotional perspective? So the social context that your message is being addressed in, how are they seeing that? Does it make them feel fearful? That probably won't help you. Um, is, are they really feeling excitement and elated? Are they inspired? Is it something that they really take an interest in and they're, you know, they want to learn more about it? Or is it something that really puts them off? Uh, is it something frustrating? Does it trigger anger? All of these sort of things happen very quickly in seconds. And so we sometimes say it takes only seven seconds to create a first impression. Guess what? It's your mid, sorry, your hind brain and your midbrain that both are as the, pretty much kicking in in the first few seconds. Now here is where the problem now lies. All of our messaging, typically in our marketing, is about do this and save that much money. Or, you know, call us now because we are the experts in our field. And it's all these logical reasons. Save so much money. We're cheaper than the others. We're better than the others. We got so much more experience. All these logical reasons why people should buy is the first things that your marketing is emitting. And if it does, it sucks because it's pretty much trying to circumvent the first two centers in the brain that are the first point uh, where the message is being assessed. If you can't convince that the survival is not, let's say, impacted by your message, or that it is novel enough to somehow get through the first barrier, your message is not going to even fly. People are not even going to consider it. So all your marketing dollars, all the wasted energy at going to networking function, sponsoring events, it's just wasted money. You, could, you might as well burn the money right now because it's just not gonna be taken up. The second thing then is again, in recap, is that they are also going to put some emotion to it. So the question is how well is, that, is the message that you're conveying and the way that it's being received, is it going to actually help the person feel in the right way to be open to pushing the message through to the neocortex that's going to look at problem solving, assessing the information for what it means, factually, logically speaking, only then. And once again, if you keep pitching, keep, let's say, communicating in a way that is about saving money, saving time, this and that, all the benefits, all this sort of mumbo jumbo stuff, you're really losing the point and your marketing sucks. If you wanna find out more, probably a good time to talk to somebody like me. I wish you a wonderful day ahead. Hope this was helpful. Thoughts or questions, please post them below. Thank you.